Here's a quick video of a disassembly and hack of a Roybe, a 40 volt, 20 inch brushless lawnmower. These things seem great in practice. This is the second one I've had both of them died, and I suspect that it was because of something related to a single point failure in this whole safety scheme from the switch and the handle through this sensor down here and all the way in here. So anyway, you take the whole thing apart, find all the torque screws. I think they're 20 torques, but you're gonna have to find a something that's got a long, something that's a little bit long to reach in there. Take it all apart here, take it all apart there. I cut everything out. I cut out this switch here, which was bad. You can see it's sticking. I think that was probably the culprit, although I'm not sure. And I cut out all these wires here and here. I just put one single switch here, which seems to be working well, and uh, will be activated. So now, now to start it, it'll just require a pull of this. I drilled a hole through here, so there's a this double wire is coming down, attached to the switch all the way through, routed through where it usually was uh, through this. I don't know what this thing does actually, but I used it again, and uh, comes down here. Now the original wire came through here to a little. Uh, a, there's a little attachment. And it came, it goes into these four wires into this, this little box here, this little controller. The red one doesn't seem to do anything. So the red one I just terminated. You connect the yellow and the brown to one side of your switch and the black to the other side of your switch. And again, I've routed this all the way up so it goes to one single switch, one single point of potential failure. And, uh, and everything else is the same. You've still got the magnetic uh, sensor here to make sure that you've either got a plug or your bag attachment and everything else is the same. This seems to be working. It seems to have solved my problem. Nobody wants to work on these things. It's kind of a known issue that they're a pain in the butt. I suspect that uh, Roybe's attorneys and uh, liability team are the ones who help the engineers on this because there's three points of failure that are all very difficult to diagnose along that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this thing back together and show you how it works. I'm just gonna tidy this up here uh, with, some, with some tape and some zip ties. Okay, I've got the whole thing put back together. Um, got the wire coming out of there and through here. Um, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna put the plug back in. The headlight came on, tells me the thing's alive. Um, this little uh, magnetic or inductive uh, sensor is in place, telling the system that there's a plug or there's a bag in the back. And now all I do is pull the handle. And the thing works much simpler and uh, eliminated all those points of failure. I will say this, however, as it's configured, it's fairly dangerous. If you put it in the shed or bump against it, uh, it could start just any time. You can imagine taking this thing apart and putting it in the shed and suddenly the blade's spinning. So I think it's really important if you do do this hack to be religious about taking that safety plug out and or the battery whenever it's not in use. Again, I think these things are really poorly engineered. Um, those switches are cheap, but I'll, I'll probably, I, I blocked out the, the button and I'll probably put some kind of a warning up here since I did change things. Um, the engineering is understandable, but just really poorly executed. So anyway, there's a hack. This thing was out of warranty, so I felt comfortable cutting it apart. Hopefully this is helpful and will breathe life back into your lawnmower.